vibing. I'm Septa and you're tuned in to another Overton Live tutorial. In today's video we look at dynamic relationships in hats and how to inject funk into our grooves and our drum breaks. If you want the samples for this they're available on my Discord server as well as loads of other resources on my website. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Cool, so here we are in Ableton Live and as I mentioned in the intro we're really just going to be focusing on the hats today. I'll play you through a section of the project first and then we'll create a variation in the hats that we've got. He said, man, y'all cats got a whole new energy. Y'all got the, the, the rhythm thing y'all got, you know? Vibe. Cool, so let's start off with the processing and where these sounds are coming from. I'm using addictive drums for this. I am only using the hat section in it though, and the minimal effects um, or sends in there as well. So no reverbs and the room level is turned down a little bit. If I turn off these external effects, this is what it sounds like straight out of addictive drums. And with the post-processing, so, so quite a difference there. To talk you through it very quickly, um, we've got harmonic exciter and a little bit of stereo imaging, so really nothing major in there. Unfiltered audio biome afterwards, which is just distortion. Default preset, just some tube on there. And then a fine EQ removing some resonance and a little boost. So really nothing major there either. The way that Addictive Drums works is they've recorded each of the kit pieces um, 126 times. So there's lots of different articulations of the same kit piece or instrument that's in there. And that's really great for creating dynamic variation in uh, our grooves. So if we go back to the edit window, We've got a section here as well, which allows us to control which ones of those pre-recorded samples we are cycling through. Now you've got a choice to stay on one sample, but because I'm trying to inject a humanized feel here, I want it to cycle through these freely. So we've played the hat soloed. Let's go down to a two bar loop and adjust hat groove that we've got going already. So as you can see, it is it is an eighth note groove, but the accents really are all on the quarters. So in order to inject some extra energy in here, I'm gonna change this to an eighth note groove. Now, the way, as I mentioned just a second ago, these hats have been recorded, not only have we got a choice of uh, lots of different articulations to choose from but on the piano roll as well here we can select those the difference between opens closed and choked and things like that so we are going to use that as we develop the feeling and the accents throughout our groove so we're just going to turn the hats up for now so we can hear it a bit clearer
Okay, so that will do for our two bar section. So we'll increase that now to four bars. And create some further one-off variations that happen through the duration of the four bars. maybe have an open hat on the last one. So I think two uh, open hats in the same place is a little bit too much. So just choosing a different articulation there. And another cool function, which is probably a bit less unknown, is Addictive Drums has a um, simulation of a snare buzz layer that would happen when you kick a kick drum in a studio or if you're recording it in real life. So that sounds like that. And we've got this snare buzz um, section here where we can choose how much of it we want. So if we turn that right up, we can hear that it sounds kind of like a ghost snare because in a way that's what it is. And the cool thing about that is it creates a shaker feel um, or ghost snare feel, which we can have running across the bottom. So it's a bit easier to clear, I'll just hear, sorry, I'll just solo the hats for now. We just remove these uh, stabs for a moment. So I'm pretty happy with that. Got quite a lot of things going on there, but the main focus of where your ear go is going is on the accents that happen in these grooves. So to fill them up with um, little ghost accents and extra little hat layers works really well because it you're making the top end more dense and you're creating dynamic variation between the frequencies uh, that occupy that space. So we'll, I'm just gonna move that one across because I wanna keep the little drum fill type hat variation the same at the end. We'll listen to how that sounds as it goes across. So hopefully that's insightful into, you know, an, an extra way to create groove in your hats, in your drums and in the top end of your tune. I've got a full review of addictive drums coming as well as how I made the kick and the snare uh, to go with this groove as well. So watch out for that. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you soon.